Hello, on this video, I'm going to talk about see in and also see out. So first, let's go over the see in. So the see in is a way for you to get information from the user, from the keyboard. Whenever the user types something, you collect and you use the see in. For example, I'm going to declare a variable here, int x. And then I want to assign a value to this x here. Two ways I can do that. One is to assign a literal constant. So I can assign the 21. Or I can ask the user for a value and the user types something. And that something gets assigned to X. So let's do that instead. So if I use the C in operator and then I put the name of the variable that I want to store the value in and I get a red squiggly here and that is because I forgot to include the using namespace standard. So once I include the namespace standard here, I can start using the scene right here in the bottom. So on line 16, the CE operator just gets information from the keyboard, from the user, and then it stores in X. And then I can do a C out and then display the value of X. So I want to run this program. And when I run, the cursor is blinking here. That means it's waiting for me to type something. And that's what's waiting on line 16. So I'm going to type number 21. Then I press enter. And then line 18 displays the value of X. So that's why there is a 21 here. Now, when you run this, the user doesn't know what the user is supposed to enter. So because of that, I'm just going to put a C out here with a friendly message. And then by doing so, now the program displays the age here. And then you type 21. And then it collects the age into the X variable and displays here. And you can do a friendlier message here for the C out as well. So I'm going to put a message here saying, your age is, and then I'm going to put another less than less than sign here to display the X. So I'm going to run this program again. So now I have the age, I'm going to type 22 this time. And then there's a little friendly message to say, hey, your age is 22. All right, so what if I wanted to collect more than one value from the user? So what if I want to collect age and let's say uh, int height and width. Then if I want to collect the height and the width, let's say of a square or whatever that is, then I'm going to, on the C in, collect the heights and then C in again and collect the width. And then on the C out, I'm going to put that... Um, height and then here I'm going to put uh, height and then a end line and then I'm going to do the same thing missing a semicolon right here so then I'm going to do the same thing with the width so now if I run this program it says here, hey, enter the width, height and the width. So I'm going to put uh, 20. And then it's going to wait for me again. And I'm going to put 30. And then display 20 and 30. So here I'm getting the height and the width on a separate line. However, I don't need to do a separate line. I can do it in one line. So if I do that, here on line 17, I'm collecting the heights and the width at the same time, just separated by space. 
So let's test this out. So now I'm collecting both at the same time. So I'm going to type 10, then space and 20. So I'm entering two values over here, separated by space. And then once I press enter, it collects the two values. And then I display the two values here on the bottom. So here's how I collect two values at the same time. And you can collect however many values as you want. So here I'm going to collect depth, for example. And then I'm going to collect depth. And then I can display depth here again. So if I run this program, now I'm collecting three values at the same time. So I'm going to put 10, 20, and 30 separated by space, press enter, and all three values get printed right here in the bottom. So here in the scene, you can collect as many values as you want, given that you have a variable declared before that and that you have the greater than and greater than sign between the variables. All right, so you can do something similar for the C out. Instead of using three C outs here, you can do one C out only. So I want to delete the C out. So I want to have one large line like this where everything gets displayed on the same line. So I'm going to run this program. And here I'm going to type uh, 4, 5, and 6. And then it gets displayed 4, 5, and 6. Now, this line here is too long. So usually we do not like to have a line this long. So because of that, you can press enter right here just to break the line and I'm going to press enter here again just to break the line and if you break the line like that it's going to work just as fine so I'm going to run this program one more time and here I'm going to press number seven eight and nine and it collects all the number so the whole point of this video is that it can collect information from the keyboard using the C in and you can collect one variable, or in this case, multiple variables at the same time, like I did here in line 17. And you can also see out multiple values, like I did here in line 19, at the same time. So all we have to do is separate the see out values or variables or, or constants that you want to display and you separate them by the less than and less than sign. So end line is a way for you to put a well end line on a line. You can also do the escape character and N and this will work just as fine. Or you can also put this thing here right here and this will work just as fine note that the backslash n change color here so this n will not be printed what will be printed is actually the new line so let me do the same thing here just for you to see that the n will not be printed but a new line will be printed so i'm going to run this program again I'm going to type now 1, 2, and 3. And then there is a new line being printed right here before the width and right here before the depth. And if you notice that, there's no extra crack there but the new line. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.